Hey everyone, so this is Ishan Gupta and uh, I'm back with another YouTube video and it's been quite a long time actually I was busy with my placements and now we'd like to start with this uh, video it's not even a video I guess it's a series basically in which we'll be discussing about different companies which uh, come to the campus and uh, they have conducted their selection process in my campus and uh, that selection process will be discussed by me in each of these videos so let's start with Optum UHG uh, this U UHG stands for United Health uh, Group basically and uh, this is a video for selection process for the year 2023 to 2024 for full stack engineer uh, or SDE so let's discuss more about the company uh, Optum INC is an American care service provider with a business interest in composite technology and related services pharmacy care services and various direct healthcare services uh, it has been a subsidiary of United Health Group since 2011 Talking about United Health Group, it is one of the largest companies in the world which can come up in the top 5 rankings in the Fortune 500 companies. Uh, okay, now coming with the selection process. So the company basically visited the VIT campus in the month of November in 2023 for 2022-24 batch. Uh, the selection process consisted of uh, 3 rounds, coding, aptitude round, HR round and then uh, coming to technical interview round. In the coding round, uh, there were two questions and both the questions were lead code medium hard level. Uh, there were 15 to 20 MCQs which were uh, having questions from aptitude, coding and some core subjects also. Uh, 306 students were shortlisted for this round out of those applied and I guess approximately uh, 3 to 4000 students applied uh, for the company. Uh, coming to the HR round, unlike more uh, most of the companies, uh, Optum doesn't have its HR round at the end of the selection process, rather it firstly takes the HR round. Out of uh, like 300, only 65 students got shortlisted for this round. Uh, most of the students who were able to solve both the codes and all MCQs correctly made it to this round. All the students were mostly given chance to sit for technical interview round also, uh, whoever was selected for the this round. It was a basic HR round uh, where they asked few questions like uh, will you be able to work in shifts, preferred locations and how are you like uh, uh, able to manage pressures and stuff like that. Like basic HR round questions were there. The round lasted for approximately 10 minutes only and uh, the interviewer was obviously very supportive. Uh, later on, uh, the students were shifted to technical interview round and in this round mostly all the students from HR round appeared. Uh, all of the questions in this uh, round were mostly related to projects you have worked on and the text tags you were comfortable in. So be careful like while uploading those projects into the resume and sending it to while applying for the uh, company. Uh, in the starting itself in the company which is a campus, there is a career portal in which they uh, ask you to upload their resume. So be careful while you like upload the projects in the resume because like they ask the questions for the projects and like uh, on the text tags whichever you are comfortable on. Uh, rest all questions were uh, based on situations mostly like uh, how do you handle pressure if some deadline is approaching and the work isn't complete and the work has to be done by tonight or something like that so how will you approach it and if the uh, work has been messed up by you so how would you like face your team and your manager stuff like that so all the questions that are uh, on your own thinking capability and on your own you have to answer those questions uh, the round lasted for approximately 15 minutes to 1 hour the interviewer was very supportive and friendly uh, now coming to the final selection list, the final selection list consisted of 25 students, uh, 13 girls and 12 boys. After the selection, after a few days, you receive a mail from Optum regarding the next steps. Uh, this process was for a full-time role, not for internship. Uh, all over the process was really smooth and quick. Uh, the people from Optum were very supportive during the entire process. Luckily, I made to the final selection list also. So yeah, I guess uh, that is all about Optum from my side. And uh, thank you for uh, listening to the video till the end. If you have any questions related to Optum or let's say uh, related to the selection process specifically, uh, please drop a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, for continuing with the series, like you can subscribe to the platform. I also make a lot of technology videos like uh, related to hacks or stuff like that. And uh, you can subscribe to the channel uh, if you like. Uh, till then, uh, see you guys. Uh, I'll meet in the next video. Bye.